the reason why I was interested in funding um, St George's is because just uh, just over 11 years ago, my daughter was diagnosed with something called Burkitt's lymphoma, which is a, a rare kind of aggressive non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She was diagnosed and treated here, and um, she was she was just a couple of months past her 16th birthday, and she was put on an adult ward with lots of adults and elderly people. Um, nobody her own age, no peer group, nobody she could identify with. She was an inpatient for most of the four or five months she was being treated. Uh, she was very unwell, obviously, and she was very lonely, very isolated. And us as parents at the time, we, we weren't able to take that step back and think, hang on a minute, she's only 16. Should she really be on this ward? Should she not be? somewhere more appropriate for her age. It's only sort of after the event, when she was recovering from the treatment, that I started thinking about that. We started something called FACE, first an annual charity event, specifically to go towards um, teenagers and young adults with cancer. The room is on Ruth Miles' ward. The idea is that it's, it's, it's age appropriate, there's um, there's facilities in the room, there's drinks, uh, microwave, um, you know, uh, TV, um, j just a, a nice space that isn't a hospital ward for them to be young people and not be patients.